Hello retro PC builders and retro gaming enthusiasts. Welcome to my guide to benchmarking a retro gaming PC. In this retro benchmark video, we're going to be benching the performance of the Voodoo 2s in SLI. To do this, we're running Futuremark's 3 Mark 99. We're also going to be running 3DFX's Wizmark, as well as the CPU benchmark, Test CPU. Finally, we'll be running a little bit of Archmark, and at the end, I'll play a bit of the original Half-Life with all the settings at max. Now onto 3D Mark 99. As you can see here, I'm selecting the Voodoo 3D Accelerator cards and keeping all the other settings at standard. The benchmark then runs through various different tests for textures, geometry and other number crunching calculations. At current, I'm unable to capture the VGA output from the back of my retro PC. So we're filming the screen here with a GoPro Hero at 1080p, so the, the capture quality is still decent. The graphics in these things are incredible for 99. You know, th this is basically the crisis of its day. When it comes down to benchmarking a retro PC like mine, there is a surprising amount of information out there. Both the Vogons forums and just Google searching helped me to find exhaustive lists of programs which were written in the 90s to benchmark the PCs of the time. To me, the obvious go-tos were the ones I recognized from back in my day, but I've included the complete lists of retro benchmarking programs in the comments below. You can see, uh, you can see the VRAM here getting absolutely cooked in these big texture tests. That's really fun to see. And here we go, running a classic bit of Archmark here, and, uh, and, and, uh, 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 uh. What I really liked about test CPU is that you have this 
really big database of CPUs, which you can go through and it shows you, you know, where you match up against a bunch more. This obviously came out quite a long time afterwards. It does have a lot of more modern processors. It would probably work on modern PCs. Who remembers Half-Life from the first time round in 1998? So I just loaded it up and just messed around for a couple of minutes. I know the capture quality isn't fantastic. If you want to see more of this sort of thing, I will happily get a VGA capture device and make videos of all the many, many games that I have for this retro PC. So if you guys are into that, then please drop me a comment. I'll happily make a video. Thank you very much for watching this retro benchmarking video. It's been an absolute blast to play and uh, subscribe if you want to see more content from this retro gaming PC.